Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will conclude a new covenant. The entire corpus of scriptures presents to us a great vision, which is at the same time a fundamental reality, an encompassing biblical principle, and an intimate revelation. The Hebrew word berit is translated sometimes as testament, but more properly, covenant. So as we say Old Testament and New Testament, the Bible, we could equally say Old Covenant, New Covenant. The Bible is about the covenant. Our life is about the covenant. The infinite being who is beyond our understanding, God who is love, he created us, man, mankind, men and women united, made in his image to live bonded to him in relationship with him as parent, father, and we his children, all bonded with one another in him. A beautiful network of interrelationship with him as the source from which we came and to which we return. God's family of families. This foundational truth ought to always be the center of our personal lives. And the principles of the covenant ought to direct our thinking and all the human family does. What if it did? Imagine what the world would be. In Genesis, we are taught that God established his covenant with our first parents. He established his covenant with Adam and Eve so that they would be stewards, co-creators with him. They broke that covenant. And so history, salvation history, is a long tale of our infidelity and God's calling us back. The Old Testament is about a series of covenants which, which God's people didn't keep. So Jeremiah prophesied, as we hear the author of the letter to the Hebrews repeating, Jeremiah prophesied, that at last a new covenant will come that will be written on the heart. I will be their God and they shall be my people. The letter to the Hebrews was written so the Jews would understand that in Jesus, this new covenant is here. As we've heard in the Gospel of Mark today, Jesus speaks of choosing his apostles. The 12 tribes of Israel were the pillars of the Old Covenant. Jesus chooses 12 apostles, pillars of the New Covenant. All humanity is indeed bonded together in God in some way, whether one recognizes it or not. And further, Christ calls all to the new and eternal covenant family. Will humanity understand? Imagine what the world would become if we did. <laughs>